Hey everyone, what's happening? It's been a little while since I've been doing my Metal Gear Solid playthroughs, but like I said at the end of Peace Walker, well, it's not quite the end, but I really had enough of that game for now. I really can't bother to do the extra stuff to get the the second ending or whatever it is, so you can check that out yourselves. At some point I probably will do it, but for now I just want to I just want to start Twin Snakes because I have not played this game in a very long time and I did I did enjoy this game so I want to I do want to play it. But yeah, as you can see, I am on a Nintendo Wii. This is actually my sister's, but she hasn't used it in about 2 years, so I've kind of taken it and I'm going to use it to to do this playthrough of Twin Snakes. I guess the first question you might have is why Twin Snakes? Well, first of all, I don't actually own Metal Gear Solid 1. I, the time that I did complete it, I've completed it once or twice, but I borrowed it off a friend the first time I did it. And since then I've only I've only ever played Twin Snakes, really. And because uh, I was like, I think I was 7 when the first MGS came out, I obviously couldn't really get into it because it was a bit above my skill level and intellectual level, so I had to kind of leave it and Twin Snakes because it's got like the, the enhanced graphics and the, the MGS2 gameplay elements I thought I would play through that, it would be, it'd be more fun for me and obviously everything will look a bit nicer as well but I'll shut up for this opening cutscene The nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They are demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You will have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the President of Armstech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High Tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound, your former unit, and one that I was the commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mantis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, the beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, Master of Disguise. Vulcan Raven, Giant and Shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound Squad Leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake?
nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As always, this is a one-man sneaking mission. Weapons and equipment OSP. Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Stay alert. He'll be through here. I know it. I'm going to swap down a couple of bothersome flies. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface, but make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the pause button and then the A button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the pause button and then the A button to receive the call. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Alright, so um, I died a couple of times already, just trying to get used to the buttons and stuff because well, one, it's it's a whole new MGS game, and although you know the buttons are fairly similar, it's obviously there's going to be a few little different elements to it. And also, I'm using uh, a Nintendo GameCube controller, and this is the only game I've ever played using a GameCube controller, and that was three years ago. So obviously, I need to get get to grips with the controller. No pun intended. But yeah, I'm just. Uh, I died a couple of times trying to figure things out and just see like what the AI is like and, and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully I'll be I'll be able to make it through this time. But yeah, the the controller's gonna take a little bit of getting used to. I I borrowed a controller off one of my cousins actually. And uh, it's not it's not an official controller, it's one of these kind of cheap like imitation ones. 
So it's really kind of, it's really a terrible controller, but I didn't want to buy a new one, just kind of just to play through this game. So I'm not going to be, this isn't going to be like a, a masterclass or anything like that. I'm just going to, I'm just going to try and get through the game as best I can. But it's a, uh, it's been, like I said, it's been a long time since I played and I'm on a new system with a new controller. So it might take me a, it might take me like a few hours before I really start to get, get the hang of it, as you can see. So yeah, this is, uh, well, this is really the MGS to start it all. I mean, there was uh, there was Metal Gear. In, Metal Gear first was released in 1987. In case anyone doesn't know. And all right, there's someone coming down. Yeah. Okay. So it's been 25 years since this game came out. But Metal Gear Solid One didn't actually come out till 1998, I think it was. So it wasn't really until this game that Metal Gear Solid was put on the map. And to be honest, if, if you're if you're the kind of person that's played the original first, everyone loves the original. But because I played the original so long ago, and I, I pretty much played Twin Snakes at a similar time to when I played the original. I might have even played Twin Snakes before the original. So I don't have a problem with Twin Snakes personally, but a lot of people kind of don't like this one and like the original. So sorry about that. But I decided to to play through this. I think they said the voice acting was one of the biggest issues because they had to call everyone back to redo the voice acting and they did a they did a bad job. But we'll see as we play through. disposal facility. That took a long time. I guess you're feeling a little rusty. Don't worry. It's been a while, but it's all coming back to me. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. A Hein D. Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea, but it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Best chance to slip in unnoticed.
There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly hind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. What's this? I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake? But I'm surprised. I... I didn't think you'd be so frank. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. It does, doesn't it? Well, let's get to know each other better. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake. We're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to save your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here. And then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. Mm, I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. Yeah, I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. What about the air duct near the door? Mm, one sentry on the left, and one on the right. They're armed with 556ers and pineapples. There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Alright, so there we have our little briefing and we kind of get to meet the team as well as the people that we're going to be dealing with and I really want those chaff grenades in the middle of the heliport It's one of the do things I do remember about this game Chaff grenades always... oh shit Is there somebody there? Yeah, these guys are quite good, they, they hear your, your footsteps pretty easily here um, Let me just use a chaff here because I'm because of those boxes I don't think I can get underneath this this camera I don't really know what's here but surely it's worth it if it's guarded by a camera stun grenades okay those are always good um, yes this guy here I'm probably gonna miss okay I think I got him he should fall eventually and this guy's already sleeping no problem. Alright, let me get straight in there. Okay. 
a surveillance camera. Yeah. Love this guy's voice. Alright. Let me... I should be able to, to sneak underneath that camera. But I think... I'm just wait for that guy to go. Okay. Oh shit. What's that? Okay, he's gonna he's gonna come all the way around. And instead of crouching there, I press the wrong button so I ended up shooting. There's gonna be a little bit of that, but we'll get used to it. Alright, we are inside. <sighs> really have missed this game. It's kinda good to return to the slightly more old school metal gear. Ah yes. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a boot camp instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Those mice are Alaskan field mice. <laughs> don't worry, they can't hurt you. Wild field mice don't have a thick layer of fat, but they can still survive the bitter winters here without hibernating. They dig tunnels under the snow, and that's where they stay warm. Survival specialists, huh? I should learn from them. But there's a dark side, too. Sometimes the males will kill and eat offspring that are not their own. To ensure the survival of their own genes, right? Yeah. Pretty brilliant program, huh? If there are mice, that means there must be an exit somewhere. Follow the mice. And already we have some of the some of the themes of Mel Gizoli creeping up there. For those of you that know the whole series, you'll know that what he's saying is kind of he's kind of talks about some of the themes of the game already when he's talking about the mice. I'm not sure how the mice got through the water there, but okay. But the best invention of these Metal Gear games is obviously this um, this M9. I guess this is like the updated version of the MK22 from Metal Gear Solid 3. But I mean, without this gun, I would struggle so much. It's literally... It, you know, without it, I'm, I'm screwed because it's silent. You don't kill people. Mostly because it's silent and you can take people out in one shot wherever you hit them. Like this guy here. You can just hit him in the ankle. And obviously he doesn't know what's going on. Somehow he... Oh, shit. You know what? My finger slipped. That was so stupid. Oh! Wow, that was really lucky. <laughs> he just kind of got knocked out before he could trigger an alert. That was really lucky. <laughs> wow, that must have been so stupid. I just randomly crawled out. Okay. What was I saying? Yeah, somehow they don't realize that a massive needles. Like, tranquilizer's been shot into them, but... What the hey? Come on, dude. Aren't you, like, doing a lap of this whole area? Hmm. I guess not. Okay. I don't know how to cancel the shot. I'm gonna have to. F I'm gonna have to figure that out. Dudes, just let me get on with it. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. I guess because this, cause this is the first MGS, they're going to be really trying to help you every step of the way. Because people wouldn't really be used to this kind of game at the time. Come on, dude. I swear I shot you in the face. Good. Yeah, so everything's going to be kind of very... They're going to make all the instructions very clear and all, and all that kind of stuff. Make sure you don't get lost with this game. So hopefully that should help me as well. Let me check if there's anything under these tanks. There's almost always items here, but I can't see anything right now. Okay, fair enough. What else do we have here? Let's 
see what we got. There's a camera up here. Yeah. It's a little bit difficult to see actually. When you're on a different floor, if you haven't come up the stairs yet, you can't quite see the, um, the blue cone that the camera has. So sometimes you can get caught out, so you need to be careful. But I mean, they got lots of they got lots of things right. I mean, even even though this game was made in '98, things like uh, when you walk on the the metal parts and you make more noise, the guards from the guards from downstairs, I think they can hear you, if I remember correctly. Little things like that. I mean, you can leave footprints. You can you can do all sorts. So it really was like a groundbreaking game. It's a shame I wasn't a little bit a little bit older when it came out. Otherwise, it probably would have been like my favourite Metal Gear. And obviously, even though I love Metal Gear Solid, because MGS3 came at a good time for me, it's always been my favourite game of the MGS series. All right, how do I drop? Okay, I got it right first time. Good. All right, let's continue. Uh. Okay. Alright, I should be... It's been quite a while since I started recording because of all the times I've died. I'm going to have to edit those out. But, yeah, this this should be around the end of the first part. Let me just take this call. Look at the radar! It's picking up the DARPA chief! He's the green dot! Hurry and rescue him! Okay, this is a good cue to, to call her back and save. So let's do that. Look at the radar! Yeah, okay. Alright, so we've made a start to this game. Hopefully I can I can get more of this done. Wow, the last save was from 30th of May 2009. So like I said, it has been three years. Alright, I'll see you for the next episode.